Uh, it is a honor for me to be here this morning on this milestone uh, year or date, 77th anniversary of the United Nations since its formation. I just like to, from our France, say thank you very much uh, to the United Nations the office here, the resident coordinators for past and uh, present, and for those who will be here in this office going forward into the future. I just want to appreciate your continued support uh, to Papua New Guinea, the home of diversity, the most diverse nation on the face of the planet. Earth. So if you want to do a litmus test of managing diversity, well, there's no place else to come except uh, Papua New Guinea. Uh, we have more languages, uh, we have more cultures, we have more biodiversity too, including both from our uh, terrestrial uh, ecosystem as well as our marine ecosystem and so if there is one place one word you would try to uh, associate Papua New Guinea with it's maybe the word diversity and so I coined this word home of diversity but nonetheless thank you very much our planet is a very diverse planet our diversity requires us to be United. Maybe a lesson the world could learn from from Papua New Guinea is unity amidst diversity. The Union of Nations, since the birth of uh, UN and the circumstances that compel UN, uh, resonates right down through time. Respect of each other, human dignity, human perseverance, human uh, values is timeless and crosses culture, ethnicity. And for Papua New Guinea, as a Christian nation, our deep philosophy of Christianity is we do unto others what we would want them to do to us. Love, peace, tolerance, joy, kindness, these are ethos as Christians we subscribe to. And I'd like to appreciate the leadership that UN Charter in PNG has played its part right through the last 47 years we have been independent. We look forward to continued partnership. Lately, under Secretary General Guterres, he has stepped up. He has really stepped up the call for more action, better action than just words. This conversation in the last UN, speaking on some of the contemporary challenges that faced us. More importantly, outside of COVID-19 and economy, he looked straight into the future and he said the world will be facing severe food for shortages. The world is in distress, if I could add. And we live in one planet Earth. This planet is our village in the great cosmos. If this village called Earth is destroyed in one part, the rest of the Earth will suffer. Our planet is one. Our ecosystem that keeps the planet functional is one. The environment, or rather, the atmospheric envelope that combines, maintains the echo balance is one. We just need to work as one going forward. Finding in the midst of our diversities and our own peculiar local needs that is for the that part of the planet, we just need to find the common thread that binds us all together. And especially leaving no place behind, leaving no one behind in terms of development, the development aspirations and caring for each other, maintaining our care for the environment in a big way instead of just talking because once destroyed that balance will be hard to restore going forward into the future. These conversations are timely. Let me comment on SDGs. I think for Papua New Guinea we reflect on the SDGs that is set. SDGs in my view are a great reflection of what is common right throughout all humanity. The needs of every human being is similar. 
starts with our breakfast this morning. No one lives on planet Earth without food. Everyone. The types of food may vary, but the fact that food must be put into our body denotes the fact that needs of every humankind is the same way of us. Especially basic needs, food, shelter, environment, the ambience of our life, our environment, our living, living environment that cares for safety of all, including mothers and children, are uh, important. And Papua New Guinea acknowledged that SDGs uh, set by UN are definitely consistent or congruent to our own local need. And we subscribe to the 2030 agenda, we subscribe to the SDGs, and we've made conversions from what was set into ensuring that our local targets are met. We may not be there yet, but we are moving in a trajectory to reach the 2030 ambitions of the UN, which is really domesticated in our medium-term plannings, our STARS program, and going forward. In fact, as I speak now, we are concluding our medium-term development plan three. We are now looking forward to take a review on what we have achieved in all HDIs, our educational statistics, our health statistics, our law and order statistics, so that our next medium-term plan that we will uh, promulgate very soon has statistics of achievements or failures that guides us into what we must do going forward. Papua New Guinea, if I may speak a little bit, Madam Resident Coordinator and all UN and all uh, members of our diplomatic family over here and different partners, important to us. Papua New Guinea is an important nation from the context of some global assets we have in PNG. The global assets is the great forest we have. The global assets is the biodiversity we have. Apart from the ethno-cultural diversity and the people, if you remove all the forest in Papua New Guinea per se, then you are removing one third of world's land, so to speak. The greatest need of humanity, whilst food is ranked number one, I put to you that oxygen ranks high for food. None of us produce oxygen. No laboratory on the face of planet Earth will produce enough oxygen to keep Earth in balance and check. It is the trees of planet Earth that keeps the Earth in balance. And when I spoke at the United Nations, I made it absolutely clear. Conversation on climate change will not be balanced until the conversation on saving our rainforest and saving trees is ramped up or even par with every other conversation on climate change. And so I put to you that Papua New Guinea is important for us to look deeper, closer. I ask for a greater action in great contributors to the United Nations family. There are forests here, there are global assets that need your help in conservation. Enough of just pledging on commitment to the climate change cause. Someone, somewhere, must assist me in the conservation. Because when I balance the debate between conservation and the immediate economic needs of my country, I am tempted sometimes, if it is not me, then authorities at the local level or people who are custodians of this forest are compelled to harvest for immediate needs. But when the forest is lost and the diversity or biodiversity that is contained therein is lost, the planet Earth loses substantial, valuable, intangible assets. And I just would want to speak on the 77th anniversary. Maybe the office here could be the amplifier to our advocacy for sustainable forest and land use management in our country. So that what is a global asset we keep, keep here can be also sustainably used, harvested, or preserved 
for the future generation of all mankind because we live in one planet. And I just want to also, uh, in, in, in conclusion, thank, thank you United Nations, United Nations for your continued engagements with not just Papua New Guineans, but Papua New Guinea development partners for your advocacy for what needs to be done in here going forward. I look forward to uh, partnering with yourselves, not only uh, in this occasion, but more importantly, on other occasions, as you interface with us, there is always a space and time for UN in Papua New Guinea. Let us take stock of what we've done. I give you my full commitment for PNG as we approach our 50th anniversary. We want to stand on the podium at the 50th anniversary and tell the world, and tell our citizens more importantly, and in as far as our subscription to the 2030 Agenda and all the key commitments to the SDG goals in our own work done thus far, we have made substantial progress, especially attending to those who have been left behind, the vulnerable, the mothers, the children, and those in some uh, tribal strife and lo uh, law lawless and affected areas including the much needed attention that we've been giving to Bougainville at the conclusion to the Bougainville agenda. We thank, thank you all for uh, hearing me out. Thank you for this invitation. I look forward to working with UN. But more importantly, my government looking forward to working with UN going forward into the future. God bless the United Nations. Congratulations on the 77th day. We look forward to more celebrations into the future. Thank you.